Uh, this is uh, Cactus 1539. Hit first. It's returning back towards LaGuardia. Everybody knows the story of the miracle on the Hudson, where Captain Sully landed the aircraft in the river. Cactus 1529, turn right 280. We can't do it. We may end up in the Hudson. There's a point where he says, I'm switching to the APU, the auxiliary power unit. He was able to maintain control of the aircraft and safely land the aircraft in the river. And we build that unit here. It's a constant reminder that we're not just working on a piece of hardware. People's lives depend on us doing our job and make sure it's done correct. Moog was a research engineer at Cornell Labs in Buffalo, and he was in a competition. There was a project at MIT to design for the Defense Department. The MIT solution didn't work, and Bill Moog's did work. After the war, there were a number of projects to design what today we would call a surface-to-air missile. So think about that. You got an airplane that's flying 400 miles an hour and you're going to hit it with a missile. So this is hitting a bullet with a bullet. And Bill Moog's assignment was to develop a control device that would provide that kind of instantaneous response and that kind of precision. And it didn't exist. The torque motor is the brain of the servo valve. You're going to make sure your O-ring and those coil wires are out of the way. And the development of this device, the servo valve, became the heart of very high performance control systems. This became the, the basis for the start of the company. Somebody asked, hey, what do you do? Well, Moog steers stuff. You know, you look out at that flap over that, that, that airplane that you flew in on, and uh, we're that thing between the pilot and that flap that moves, right? That's what Moog does. These machines make very complex parts. The work that's done here is important, not just for Western New York or the US, but for the world. This company develops technology that's used all over the world. This is a flight simulator motion system. Right now, it's simulating the pilot going through a thunderstorm. We make it feel like he's really flying, he's losing gravity, and, and he's feeling that acceleration of the, the device moving. It's launch vehicles, it's submarines. Gun controls on military vehicles. Flight control systems um, for three different Embraer aircraft. And in the industrial arena, controlling the flow of uh, natural gas into power generating turbines, metal forming machinery, a variety of medical devices. Domo was an adventurer in terms of corporate culture. He established a company with a culture that he described this way. Uh, we're going we're gonna to presume everyone's well-intended, and we're going to build an atmosphere of mutual trust and confidence. In our factory, there won't be any time clocks. We'll presume that everybody is an adult, and they're going to show up for work on time. Adult. Okay. We'll have what today would be called self-directed work groups, people that arrange their work in their own fashion. Today, a lot of industries are adopting this approach, but in the 50s, this was regarded as radical. He knew that his best resource in a company was his people. We help each other around here. I drop what I'm doing, and I help you. That was his philosophy. Moog is an international company that happens to be headquartered in the U.S. Where a company gets started is important in its history. Western New York is a good place to have a corporate base for a technology company. There's a lot of technical talent available in Western New York coming out of the local universities. The programmer actually determines which probe is used per feature. They're very talented, very hardworking, and they do a really good job. We like to solve our customers' toughest problems. And what part are you looking for? 
So I was attracted to this company and co-opted with them and I've actually never left. Moog was part of the, the Saturn program with Apollo. Moog's been part of the Space Shuttle Orbiter program. There's a lot of talk of going to Mars um, and, and Moog is involved in that. What this company does, it does as well or better than any other company on the planet. Not better than another company in Western New York or another company in the US. There is no company in the world that does what Moog does any better than Moog does it. And, um, and it's, you know, just the folks from Buffalo.